Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to the Computer Chess Championship 2020 Super Engines Tournament organized by Chess.com platform and we already had the grand final. In the final, as always, Stockfusion and UE played against Lila Chess Zero and I would like to show you one of the most interesting games, one of the last games. At the end, I will also show you the, the final score out of 500 games the engines plays 500 games in the blitz time control so five minutes and five seconds incrementation so without further ado let's see what happened on the board stockfish as white open with d4 but however we have a six first move uh, pre-arranged so we cannot say that stockfish has uh, started this way uh, we have g6 we have a c4 bishop g7 so modern defense on the board we have d6, we have knight f3, uh, we have bishop g4, we have e3, a knight c6 and now bishop e2 and e5. And this is end of the book. Now, the most popular for human is d5 and there is no surprise because d5 actually uh, d5 knight c2 e7 and e4 uh, is has the winning percentage of 61 percent of the games uh, are won by white so this is the strongest continuation uh, it's also possible to castle so for example castle um, and continue this way uh, and also knight e5 may be the most fancy because white actually wins the pawn. And uh, of course, if the, the knight is taken, then the bishop can be taken. Uh, and if the bishop takes the, the bishop, then we're gonna have knight c6, bishop d1. And uh, after taking uh, the, the queen, bishop can retreat but then black gonna lose another pawn and of course the game so that's not the best actually continuation for black now white here in this position stockfish didn't go for the most popular but stockfish exchange here so we have d takes on e5 and now uh, this continuation very interestingly 57% of the games are won by black. So this is far from the best continuation for white, but Stockfish went for this. Uh, we have D takes on E5 and now Queen B3 uh, getting the Queen on this diagonal, but directly attacking B7. Now can B7 be taken uh, after Bishop D7, Lila Chess 0 says, okay, go for B7, uh, but of course this is poison pawn and we cannot take it because after queen b7 we would have rook b8 and after queen a6 the knight can come to the b4 uh, attack the queen and then also attack to c2 uh, fork over there and the queen cannot come to the to the a4 because the bishop actually controls a4 so that's not possible queen a7 and of course uh white gonna lose the rook so of course stockfish is not that greedy and first castle and now queen can take on b7 but lila chess zero set up another trap and now we have a5 so again you cannot take this pawn uh, this time the queen can be catched so rook b8 and the queen has nowhere to go queen a6 rook b6 and now the queen is trapped and of course lost so this is why we have e4 now blocking advancement of this pawn and now knight f6 preparing to castle we have bishop e3 we have a4 kicking the queen queen a3 now getting to this very annoying diagonal so black cannot castle and now we have bishop f8 now attacking the queen the queen would be trapped but of course white have a c5 move so the bishop goes back to g7 now castle is possible h3 we have also castle rook f to d1 centralizing the rooks and now queen c8 and now white have to be careful maybe in the right moment a uh, black could sacrifice um, the bishop on h3 uh, we have rook a to b1 so this sacrifice is not possible yet we have bishop e6 and now knight g5 harassing the bishop so bishop goes back to d7 
And now we have b4 supporting the pawn on c5 and also saying uh, you can do n passau now because later of course you cannot do. So we have a takes on b3 by lila chess 0 and now queen b3 setting up the queen again on this diagonal and together with the knight and maybe uh, with the bishop on c4 this can be extremely dangerous. So lila chess 0 uh, see that's already so this is why we have knight d4 attacking the queen and the bishop so if the queen goes back to for example b2 uh, then can exchange this light square bishop however stockfish of course doesn't want that so we have bishop d4 uh, we have e takes on d4 and now rook d4 so stockfish actually won the pawn but now we have h6 kicking the knight but stockfish doesn't want to lose the initiative uh, prefers to actually sacrifice or maybe not sacrifice but give back the material the pawn so e pawn is the is the great to do that we have e5 and now h takes on g5 e takes on f6 bishop f6 so now again the material is equal and now instead of moving the rook for example to d2 which everything is okay with this move we have knight d5 saying okay you can take my uh my rook however after that uh i'm gonna win your queen so knight e7 king g7 and and in this position we would have the queen for the rook and the bishop so of course a white stands better here uh, this is why we have bishop d8 setting up the bishop in this position it's not a really great position for the bishop first of all the queen is trapped over there and the second the rooks and the heavy pieces the queen also are disconnected so not really a great position for the bishop but at the same time this bishop controls of course a lot of squares where the knight potentially could jump uh, we have bishop c4 so now getting to this diagonal uh, and now bishop e6 countering um, this attack we have also rook e1 and now if black would like to play something like like c6 let's say attack this this knight the problem is knight e7 uh forking the king and the queen so bishop e7 and now rook e6 and again we're gonna have a very nice tactic winning the queen and at the end we would have the queen for the rook and the bishop so definitely again white would be in the in the much better position so this is why we have king g7 now this tactic is not possible uh, and now rook d3 uh, we have also bishop d5 so lila chess zero said okay i give up the uh, pair of bishops but this knight is far too annoying so we have bishop d5 bishop d5 and now c6 kicking the bishop so bishop go back to c4 and now bishop f6 we have rook d6 now very nice outpost for the for the rook and potentially uh this bishop can be attacked we have queen f5 now bringing the queen to the game and now rook e3 as planned as i said rook f3 can attack and pick up actually this bishop so the bishop has to be moved somewhere and there are two options the bishop can go back to d8 but that would be uh, of course disconnecting the rooks again or bishop a1 so this is what lila chess zero played but there is one little problem here now what white can do is improve the position of the queen by attacking the bishop so we have queen d1 the bishop has to go somewhere we have bishop b2 and now queen d2 and now the problem is that the bishop cannot you know uh go back because now the queen can come to c1 uh, catching this bishop and if the bishop uh, goes for example to e5 the only square which is not losing because f6 of course is losing um, so that's not possible then the problem is bishop d3 kicking the queen and if the queen doesn't uh, protect the, the bishop there is the problem so queen f4 and now g3 and the bishop is lost so I don't know where queen b4 and the bishop is lost so uh the bishop has to go somewhere else we have bishop a3 threatening now to take on c5 and forking both of the rooks is that a problem not really because now we have h4 saying okay go for this bishop c5 but this is the problem because after bishop c5 again the queen cannot protect the bishop all the time because after bishop d3 uh where would you like to go 
So this is the problem. The queen has to go somewhere, queen f4, but now this bishop is unprotected, so queen c3 uh, can of course win that bishop and the game. So this is why we have g4 first, and now we have queen d4 with the check, we have king h7, and now bishop d3. So very similar plan, and now the queen is under attack and cannot take the pawn on c5. Look at this, because if the pawn on c5 is taken, then actually we have very beautiful bishop g6, very beautiful uh, sacrifice. The problem is after f takes on g6, then of course we're gonna have rook e7 and there is the, the checkmate. Uh, if king g8, then we're gonna have a checkmate on g7. If king h6, uh, again the same. Uh, queen g7, king h5, king h7, this is the checkmate. And if the king goes to h6, immediately there is the problem, queen f4, getting on this diagonal and after king g7 then queen f6 uh, king g8 and now rook d7 put more pressure on the on the f7 and checkmate is coming after uh, black can try to defend that point but uh, but it doesn't work because now we have queen g5 uh, and we're gonna have also the check the double check in the next move and even if black tries to attack the queen it doesn't work because of the bishop f7 double check the king has to be moved so king h7 queen g6 and of course we would have the checkmate as well so this is why we have bishop c5 by lila chess zero so exchanging the queens uh, but now stockfish saying okay queen c4 your queen is still under attack i watch your bishop so what you gonna do uh, so this is why we have b5 first kicking the queen queen c2 and the problem is still on the board now if the queen goes for example to h5 there is again the same tactic so bishop h6 if the queen takes then of course we're gonna exchange the queen uh, for the rook and the bishop and if f takes on g6 again rook e7 wins the game here and it doesn't matter where the king go uh if king g8 we're gonna have rook g6 and after king uh, h8 look at these rooks these rooks actually control all of the squares so queen c3 and that's gonna be the the checkmate so black can throw some pieces bishop d4 and then queen d4 uh, rook f6 uh, but of course this is the checkmate uh, if king h6 the same happening on this diagonal so it doesn't really matter queen c1 and again black can throw uh, some of the pieces but at the end we are gonna have the checkmate so this is why lila chess zero sacrificed the rook rook a2 and now there is not much choice stockfish has to accept so for example uh, if white takes this uh, this queen it looks like okay the queen can uh, exchange the queens and take the rook after the problem is after rook c2 bishop c2 bishop d6 so this rook was hanging and now black has two extra connected passed pawns uh, which of course gonna win the game so this is why queen a2 is forced and now we have queen f4 uh, avoiding the the attack and now the bishop is not under attack and still is forking both of the rooks and now you can actually pause the video and find the winning continuation for white while i enjoy my cup of tea Okay, ready? So if you watch the video carefully, then of course we have the same tactic, uh, but there is the little difference and it's much more complicated. Uh, we sacrifice the bishop, of course, Stockfish and UE found it immediately. So we have bishop g6 and now what you have to calculate because uh, the queen is on this diagonal. So there are no mating ideas on this diagonal like I showed you before, uh, but after f takes on g6, what you have to find is after rook e7, king h6, everything looks great for black and now white are in troubles. And this is the most difficult uh, move to find. White have to sacrifice yet another piece. Boom, rook g6. And this is the only winning continuation. Because after king g6, we're gonna have queen e6 and now it doesn't really matter what black gonna do. Uh, if queen f6, we're gonna have queen g4, king h6 uh, and now rook e6 winning the queen. 
So, uh, for example, bishop f2, king h2, now bishop d4, and finally, this is what we're gonna have, bishop f6. Yes, black has these two pawns, but they're gonna uh, fall pretty soon. It's not enough for black actually to draw the game with the, with the rook and the bishop. So, white stands better, and this is winning continuation. If rook f6, it doesn't work as well because of the queen g8. So, uh, from this side, and after king h5, then we're gonna have queen h8, rook h6, and now rook e5, and black have to give the queen for this rook. So again, we would have the rook and the bishop uh, for the queen. So that is the difference. If king g6, then of course uh, the king gonna be checkmated. Queen g8, king f6, rook e6, and after king f5, queen f7, uh, rook f6, and we're gonna have the checkmate as well. So f takes on g6 is of course forced. This is why we have king h6. And this is also the problem because, as I said, we don't have the final attack on the h6. So now just simple rook c6. And here is um, the problem, bishop e3. So what just happened, uh, lila chess 0 equalize the material and the problem is that this bishop cannot be taken because if a stockfish takes this this bishop we're gonna have queen e3 and after a king h2 f takes on g6 and of course this is completely equal even black have one extra pawn so white have to fight for a draw so that would be the the problem however white have much stronger move in the position boom bishop b1 with the check and now the bishop is not under attack anymore so king h5 and only now f takes on e3 so queen a3 we have queen f2 and now black doesn't have much choice here cannot win the bishop uh, because the, the c1 is actually defended by the rook, cannot win the rook, and um, there are no forks, so uh, this is in this position, Lila Chess 0 decided to exchange the queens, and of course, this is already game over, uh, as we have the bishop for two pawns, but the position is completely uncoordinated, and black gonna lose all of the pawns uh, pretty soon. First, we have rook c5, and now there is the little trap here, of course, the pawn is under attack, but it cannot be defended because we're gonna have g3 and the checkmate on the h5. So that's the first problem. This is why we have f5 played by Lila Chess 0. Uh, but now simply rook f5 winning the, the pawn. Uh, we have g3 with the check. We have king e3 and now rook h8. Uh, we have king f4, we have rook g8, and now, of course, this is game over, winning another pawn, and uh, now we have rook g4, uh, king e5, this, of course, doesn't work, because the bishop can come to f5, this is why we have rook g8, but it doesn't really matter, now we have rook b3 uh, going for the last pawn, we have king g4, now bishop f5 with the check, king h5, uh, and now king f4. We have king h6, uh, we have rook b7 creating the mating net, uh, and now we have rook g7, we have rook b6, and now in this position is everything lost, this is actually forced mate, and it doesn't matter what black uh, gonna do. Uh, king h5 doesn't work because of the rook b1, and we're gonna have the checkmate on h1, so rook g4 would be the, the only move, bishop g4, and after king g6, of course, we're gonna have the checkmate in couple of moves, uh, this is why we have a rook g6, but of course, the effect is the same, we have bishop g6, king g7, uh, king g5, king g8, king f6, and in this position, uh, Stockfish deliver the checkmate. So that was very nice tactical game and a very beautiful attack and a lot of motives. And uh, Lila Chess 0 lost that game. Stockfish just crushed Lila Chess 0. And the last score was 277 to 223. 54 points difference in the 500 games match. So that was the crushing victory. Stockfish, as you see, the ranking, estimated ranking 3862, Lila Chess 0.
the hope of a pure artificial intelligence 360 40 uh, so of course um, there is the huge gap between these two uh, stockfish is still better we have new interesting engine dragon so this is komodo and nue and it's very very close as after lila chess zero so it's possible that dragon actually uh gonna soon be better than lila chess zero but we will see we're gonna wait for a couple of more engines tournament and so far uh if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like it press and like and if you don't want to miss any other interesting games on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one